What's up, Metaverse? Uh, this is AJ here. I'm with Starwin. What's up, man? How you doing? Steps up. I'm alright. Um, we're gonna just be running through a few of the news that's been happening throughout the week. We something big happened. It, it can be big. It can be small. No one really knows. Uh, the internet obviously is making their predictions as to what this means. But Konami and Blooper Team—that's their name, right? Yeah, Blooper Team yes, here. Blooper Team. They are the people who made the Blair Witch, and they made the Medium. The Medium, mm -hmm. and they are apparently in a partnership with Konami. They announced it on Wednesday that they're working together. They they didn't say what the project was, but y they're working with a horror company, so you already know what the <laughs> consensus is on what they're working on. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Uh, it definitely it seems like that's the route they're going. Uh, I didn't realize until this uh, whole thing came up that uh, Blooper apparently has trademarked a couple of uh, gameplay mechanics. So I'm wondering if uh, Konami only made the partnership with them to take uh, or make use of the their trademark or their patent rather. Do you In know a, exactly a, um, what they patent? It's okay. So you see how in the medium there's like that dual world thing that they have going on. Yeah, that mechanic is theirs. Okay. So like, uh, they interviewed the, uh, I believe it's the director or the CEO of the company, and he was saying that if any company, whether it be Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, if they ever make a game with similar mechanics, that they would have to ask permission of Blooper Team to be able to use it. In a reasonable Blooper game. Team making strives. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, well, the hard. issue is that uh, a lot of people are contesting this uh, patent or, or trying to find issues with it because Blooper Team apparently has stolen a lot of ideas from other video games. And the, the way that I came across this information was an article that was noting other games that came out before the medium that used that exact same mechanic. So people are upset now with Blooper Team for patenting something that they didn't create, that they're just... Seizing the moment. <laughs> well, playing the medium alone, you already get what a lot of the influences that they yeah they come up with. I haven't finished the game. I played about five hours. I'm about five hours in the game. It's so good. I love it. It's so interesting the way they get um the double world working. Where mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. open a door on one side and you can't open on the other side, so you gotta open on the other side to get it open in the real world. Like it's, it's just very interesting. Playing the medium has given me faith i guess in konami putting their faith in them you're if one of the they're few. going the silent hill route yes so if they went if they're going the silent hill route which silent hill rumor has been going on for what like three years now four years yep every chance people get any anytime konami does anything people are just silent hill silent hill <laughs> yeah man people want a silent hill game so badly and then the silent hill purists don't want Silent Hill games. Yep. They don't have faith in Konami. But I digress. I think anything new, whether it's dog shit, at least they tried. Uh, just be happy that your IP getting used. Yeah. Give them a <laughs> chance, man. Give them a chance. Who knows? They might strike gold. It's like when they released the merch, the skateboard, yes. and the shirts and the pillows and stuff. And uh, people were like, that's it. That's all we get. What is this? A skateboard? Lol. And it's just like, bro, isn't this a good thing? <laughs> yeah, you got something. You're getting merch, which means they're trying to get you hype. There's something going on. They, they, they're they trying to see if people care. And, and people do care. People bought that merch. The people, same people who complained about the merch were the ones fucking buying the merch. So, uh, like I said, the medium's good. And I told you when I, when I first played the medium, there's a lot of like Silent Hill-ish music. Yes. In this game. And yeah, I, I'm super stoked if this is if this is the direction that they're going. Then I am I am more than happy and satisfied and excited and looking forward to whatever Konami can ooh, did you know? It's it's super weird excited. though because that um wasn't even the uh the first time that Konami had spoke. So besides doing this, Konami had said that a, a big Japanese development team is making a Silent Hill game. So yeah. it seems like they have two Silent Hill games in development right now, which is weird. Potentially. Yeah, there's the Japanese one and then the... Where's Blooper from? The... I'm not too sure. 
well, wherever Blooper's from. So we have two separate games being uh, developed by two separate teams, which is really interesting to think about. That we went from having absolutely no Silent Hill games to two now. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't say where they're from here. Uh, yeah, so, like, I mean, Konami was all in on Silent Hill, right? Like, six years ago, seven years ago. They, they were all in on Silent Hill. That's why we got PT. Yep. So they, they knew that they struck gold with PT, and it's hard to believe that Konami knew they struck gold with PT because people worship PT. People still play PT. Yep. <laughs> it's Those consoles one of, sell for cash, bro. It's considered one of the greatest horror games of our generation. And it's crazy because it's just fucking demo. <laughs> yep, not even a full game. <laughs> it's a fucking demo. And like I said, to think that Konami doesn't know that they have gold there, and to think that Konami doesn't want to go for it is stupid. You know there's an itch in Konami that wants to make bank. I just feel like they're trying to go safely about it. You know, they fucked Kojima over. And that's what unfortunately led to PT getting canceled. Mm-hmm. But they they clearly clearly know that they got something, and it, it's we spoke about this actually in our journalism video where it's like it's all about time. Video games need a development team, and they need time. Like, is that was that in a journalism video we spoke about that? Uh, I think we might have have touched on it or one of the other videos that same day. But you you bring up a good point about uh, development because they're already making so much money from the pachinko and other things like that. So, like, why spend the money to develop a game that might flop? See, this is something that I'm I'm constantly mentioning. Like, these games take so much money to develop, especially with the way that uh, what fan expectations are in terms of, like, graphics and mechanics or, like, music or, like, what you can do interacting with the environment, all this other nonsense. So it's, like, for Konami to spend so much money develop a game than to have to like market it and then fucking produce it distribute it yeah. it's so much money that goes into it so they're like should we really even do it if we're like we're making so much money already from this ip mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it, it's it's definitely something to consider when looking at it from a business standpoint for konami like they don't have to they're still getting their money's worth out of silent hill without yeah. producing any games yeah this also doesn't debug the theory from the last like two years that kojima konami have made nice yeah this doesn't debunk that because like you said there was the rumor that they hired a japanese team to Mm -hmm, work mm -hmm. on a silent hill game you know they they don't have to have only one person working on a silent hill game capcom does it all the time with resident evil (laughs) so you know kojima still potentially that rumor could still be true and kojima has never denied or you know uh, what the fuck? Why am I drawing a blank? Denied or what the fuck is the the confirmed? Confirmed. Thank you. Thank you. Go. Thank you. <laughs> Brain fart. I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> they haven't denied or confirmed those rumors, so we don't know what's going on. And yeah, Kojima obviously making some big moves to himself, but we'll get into that in a bit. But that's that's the Silent Hill Konami news. Uh, tell us what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Just really, really interesting stuff going on. Before we uh, we sign off, I I hope people are more willing to give Blooper a chance because I've I've already seen online a lot, a lot of people throwing up uh, Metacritic scores for all of their games and like, oh, why would you give Blooper the opportunity to make a Silent Hill game? And then you have people on the opposite side saying they're like, we don't need a Silent Hill game. Uh, like the 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 OG games are, are masterpieces. We don't need to touch the IP. So it's like from so many sides, it seems like this game is getting shit. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. I'm really hoping that people are more willing to just give it a chance and see what the fuck happens. Because again, like <laughs> it doesn't even seem like the game was even started development and people are already going crazy. Yeah, it's like what the fuck. It's it's the purest shit, man. Like they're Silent Hill fans expect way too much. And expect it to be done. You know, this game could come out and it could be a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 perfect masterpiece horror game. It could be RE2 remake levels of, of amazingness and no one will still be happy. The same way that people get mad over RE2 remake. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And 3. So, and 3. So, and 3 is not even a bad game. 
It's just a bad remake. <laughs> but people think it's a bad game. And it's not. The game doesn't crash. The game runs beautifully. The voice acting is fantastic. The graphics are amazing. Yeah, the story's good. The gameplay is amazing. You can't tell me that's a bad game. If the game functions properly and you can get a good time out of it, it's not a bad game. You just don't like it because it doesn't have the clock tower. Which I, I agree. It should have the clock tower. But, you know, fans will never be happy. So I, that's why I just tell... I just think developers should do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> because it's going to sell. The fucking Puritans online are going to buy it anyways. Yep. They'll buy it and throw up a shitty review YouTube video. But... Sucker, they still got the money. money. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> Blooper still got your sixty, possibly seventy cash. Yeah, they'll fucking sit and whine and complain on Twitter with like two copies in their house. <laughs> one that they didn't want to open for their collection, and one that they fucking played. The rag Stupid. on. Same people who are like Fatal Frame Five. Why would you remaster that? And they buy it when it comes out. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like. You know, it's like one person in particular. Oh, I don't want a new Fatal Frame. You should just remaster the old ones. Oh, but let's buy the new Fatal Frame so that they know that they have. We love the series. Yeah, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> you're a fucking genius. Never will oh. be happy. I'm excited. <laughs>